Hello, this is a recording of the kindergarten orientation that was held April 29, 2021. You will find information and hear information regarding the school year, 21-22 school year for our incoming kindergartners in the Clover Park School District. In kindergarten, communication is key. Communication, it's essential throughout your child's school year. You'll want to keep your child's school updated on current information such as your email, your address, and your phone numbers. Your child's teacher will often communicate through these ways, through phone, email, to share important information or to conduct check-ins and see what support is needed. Attendance is also taken every day at school and you'll want to communicate early and often with your child's teacher and school's main office about absences and tardies. What will my child learn in kindergarten? There are four major subjects your child will learn in kindergarten. Those subjects are reading, writing, math, and social emotional learning. In reading, your child will learn all letter names and sounds. They will learn a lot of sight words and how to decode and read short stories. In writing, your child will learn how to write their letters. They'll learn foundational writing conventions such as capitals, spacing, and punctuation. And they'll also learn how to write a narrative, informative piece, and an opinion piece. In math, your child will learn how to count to 100, write their numbers one through 20, solve simple addition and subtraction problems, and recognize solid and flat shapes. And lastly, in social emotional learning, your child will learn how to practice mindfulness, assertiveness, and problem solving skills. Social emotional learning. What is social emotional learning? Social emotional learning is a 20 minute block of time where students will practice their so social skills, emotional regulation, and how to interact with others in a respectful way. Students will learn how to identify their own feelings, how to read social cues, such, such as facial expressions and body language, and how to respectfully share their feelings with others. They'll learn ways to calm down and problem solve, and these will be shared with students, and we will be asking them to practice these skills throughout the day, and also ask them to practice them at home. Social emotional learning is dedicated to being fun while also serving, uh, while also learning how to express oneself to others and create healthy boundaries. We are excited to say that in the fall, we will be maximizing in-person learning aligned with the Washington State's Department of Health guidelines and guidance from the governor. We are planning in-person instruction in our K-12 schools five days a week. We will have more information to come. Ex learning expectations. At home, it's important that if students are practicing work at home, that they have a quiet work space, that their device, if they're working on a computer that they bring back and forth from school, that it's charged and ready, and that they have supplies needed. And if you don't have those at home, reach out to your child's teacher. At school, it's important that students make sure masks are on and they're keeping a safe distance from others and adults, that they're on time and ready with their backpack and materials, and possibly a change of clothes if you, if clothing if you feel your child needs that. It's important that they follow the classroom rules and school directions. We practice and it's important that they work on taking turns, being assertive for themselves and asking for help. And we really work on being kind and to ourselves and towards others. Classroom safety. Parents will, re will complete a wellness agreement for their students. Temperatures currently are being taken prior, prior to entering the classroom. We are providing supplies as needed for students. Students have been wearing masks this school year and we expect that in the fall as well. Students will be given their own water, water bottle or they can bring one on their own. We practice frequent hand washing and it, we have those routines built into the school day and cohorts of students have been staying together. Here are some of the applications that you will become familiar with during your child's school year. These applications are further learning for your students that they can do when they're not in the classroom when they're possibly at home. Your child's teacher might assign work during the school day or practice at home on these applications. 
Um, and when your student is, if there's questions that come up, you can always reach out to them. Your, when you meet with your teacher, your student's teacher in the fall, they will give you login information. These additional resources on the right side are resources that can be helpful if students are working on skills at home or assignments. Um, these are some of the resources that are listed that um, also kind of give students a brain break if they're working on something and it helps students stay engaged. Again, teachers will go over these specifically with your student in the fall. If your child already has an IEP, they will receive uh, the appropriate services and you can always reach out to our special education department or your school if you have questions about that. If your child doesn't have an IEP and there are concerns, please reach out and let your, your child teacher know in those first few days um, and we will, we will get a team together to discuss um, next steps for um, working on some interventions at school to help your student out. If your child has already been identified um, as an English learner, if, if, if English is your child's second language, they will receive English language learner services. If your child has not been identified, there will be access to the on this slide, you can click it and this link will take you to the home language survey to fill out. If for some reason that link isn't working, your child's school will also provide this to you. And don't worry if this, this there's a lot of information on this slide. Again, schools will be going over th with this, this with you in the fall. Health information. Students entering kindergarten will need to be up to date with all of their immunizations. Please ensure this Please ensure that the school knows of any life-threatening conditions along with proper medications. All medications must be accompanied by doctor's orders and proper labels. Students are not allowed to administer their own medicines and we will need doctor's orders and signed healthcare plans for your student to attend school. Again, if, if any of these things pertain to your student, you would let your, um, the teacher know early and um, before school starts and we'll, we'll make sure that someone reaches out to you to get this process. Parents as partners. Parents and families, it takes a village. We are not able to do what we do without you. With this, we ask that we keep communication active. Um, please don't hesitate to ever send a note with your student in their backpack, or sometimes we have parents tape a note to a child's shirt to pass on a message. And also know that we will be putting things in your child's backpack to send messages home as well. Um, working as a team will allow us to be successful and support each other and to ensure the success for all of our students. WA Kids is the kindergarten in inventory of developing skills. Every kindergarten in Washington State participates in this assessment. And in the Clover Park School District, we do this on the September 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Um, when you, after the registration process uh, happens, we will Schools will, will be reaching out to you to schedule these conferences sometime. They'll reach out to you sometime in the summer, probably. Um, teachers will be talking to you about what school looks like. It is a great chance for families um, or guardians to share um, with our school staff what your child needs, how they learn, as you, as you know your, your student the best. Um, teachers really love this idea of having the first days to get to know families. It's a, it's a great way to start building a positive relationship. And it puts a lot of families at ease um, if this is your first time um, sending someone off to school. So we look forward to those conferences every year. What to do this summer. There's so many things that we that you can do this summer. We hope that that you take time to be outside and have fun. But there's some there's some skills on this slide that would definitely be helpful um, for um, for students to work on. In kindergarten, we really like to encourage independence and confidence. When students enter with, with skills and they're feeling, they're feeling good, they feel successful and they develop a more positive approach to learning when those hard things come like math and reading. So remember to definitely have fun this summer, but also get ready for some exciting learning ahead. We thank you for taking time to, listening, to listen to this presentation. Um, we can't make, wait to meet all of our families. And remember that if you have questions, please reach out to your child's school as the chat box is not enabled right now for this recording. Um, in, in addition to that, if you need help with registration for the, the 
upcoming school year, again, reach out to your child's school and we, they will be more than happy to, happy to help you with that process. We thank you and we can't wait to meet all of our kindergartners in the fall 